Holding an unbreakable record with 37 wins and zero defeats, boxing champion Terence Crawford's name has often appeared in sports headlines. The American boxer has fought in three different classes over the course of his career, lightweight, light welterweight, and welterweight. Crawford is also named Fighter of the Year in 2014 by the Boxing Writers Association of America. Unfortunately, fame and success are bound to bring in some rumors and controversies. Crawford is no exception. We've seen a glimpse of the good, now let's take a closer look at some of the bad and ugly. Today we're looking at Terence Crawford's most controversial moments. Before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Auto Shot Brawl Crawford has taken quite a few nasty blows in the ring, but perhaps nothing would compare to the blow he received from a judge at Omaha following a brawl at an auto shop on September 21, 2016. According to reports, Crawford turned himself into the police department in Omaha, Nebraska. He allegedly pushed the owner of an auto shop multiple times. In addition, he caused $5,000 worth of damage to a hydraulic lift. According to Crawford's attorney, the disagreement was regarding the quality and price of the paint job performed by the auto shop on Crawford's 1984 Chevy Monte Carlo. The store owner, Michael Nelson, told the media that Crawford had asked for his car back despite the fact that he still owed the store $1,350 and that the paint job was still not complete. Nelson gave the police a detailed account of the whole incident. Apparently, Crawford showed up in an employee-only area of the shop with three friends of his. Crawford's car was on the left, and to get it down, he kept hitting random buttons and pulling levers. When Nelson intervened, Crawford kept pushing him aside. Throughout the incident, Crawford kept repeating that he could do what he wanted because he had money. Once the lift and car came down, the boxer and his friends pushed the car through the parking lot and onto the street. Nelson claimed that Crawford caused quite a lot of damage to the hydraulic lift as it became extremely hot, causing the pump to overheat and hydraulic liquid to spill everywhere. To prevent a fire from starting or any further damage, Nelson cut the circuit breaker of the building. Crawford was charged with theft of services, criminal mischief, third-degree assault, and trespassing. He was sentenced to 90 days in jail, but instead his attorney pushed for $10,000 bail to secure Crawford's release. Not only was the whole incident a surprise as Crawford held no prior criminal record other than a few traffic tickets, but some fans couldn't help but feel slightly disappointed by the boxer's behavior. We can categorize the incident as a mistake which we hope doesn't happen again. Terence Crawford versus Amir Khan Perhaps the most talked about boxing match in Crawford's whole career is the one he fought against the well-known boxing champion Amir Khan. Even though Crawford won the most high-profile match of his career, he was probably left with a bitter taste in his mouth. What was supposed to be a match that highlighted Crawford's elite skill, punching power, and relentless pacing ended up highlighting only the low blow. Held at Madison Square Garden on April 20th, 2019, the intense match was met with an abrupt end when Crawford defeated Khan with an anticlimactic TKO following an accidental low blow. For those unaware of boxing lingo, TKO stands for a technical knockout. TKOs happen when the referee or the ringside physician deems a boxer unable to properly defend himself. The initially nail-biting match began with Crawford landing the biggest punch of the whole fight in the first round. While dodging a punch from Khan, Crawford countered with a huge right hand over the top. The crowd went wild when Khan was sent reeling to the ground. Khan, although a bit dazed, was able to survive through the round, but Crawford had gained the upper hand. The audience was anticipating an epic finish by Crawford, but were instead disappointed by the low blow. Here's how it all played out. During the sixth round, at the 45-second mark, Crawford accidentally landed a nasty left hook to Khan's groin. <laughs> Ouch. Davis Fields, the referee, stated that Khan's trainer, Virgil Hunter, had deemed Khan unable to continue, resulting in Crawford's TKO victory. However, this was far from the glorious victory Crawford would have imagined. Later on at the post-fight press conference, Crawford showed his frustration when he said that he saw Virgil and Khan discussing matters. When the boxer saw Khan continuously shake his head, he expressed his disappointment by saying, I was like, oh man, he's about to quit. Khan did not shy away from the camera either and face the media with his battered face. He said, I would never quit. I'd rather get knocked out, he added. He's a great fighter. He beat me tonight and we have to move on. At the end of the match, the scoreboard read, 50 44, 49 45, and 49 45. If you watch the highlights of the match, it's clearly an intense match with both boxers displaying a great amount of skill. While we'd love to see Crawford and Khan battle it out again and achieve a clean knockout at the end of the match, Khan's right that we have to move on. 
Twitter reacts to Crawford vs. Khan. Twitter had quite a lot to say on Crawford's TKO victory against Khan. Bleacher reports Jonathan Snowden expressed his confusion on Twitter by saying, I don't understand what just happened and have watched a lot of boxing matches, like hella boxing matches. ESPN's Stephen Kim viewed the match in a more level-headed manner, stating, In my view, Khan hastened the inevitable. He knew he wasn't winning this and perhaps saved himself a beating. This fight was only going one way. Hashtag boxing, hashtag Crawford Khan. Kim's not too wrong in his claims. Up until the anticlimactic blow, Crawford was clearly leading the match with his epic display of power, skill, speed, and precision. It's hard to forget Crawford's vicious punch from the first round that sent Khan staggering. Ring's Ryan Segalia commented on it, Down goes Khan from a right hand. This was always going to be this way. But Crawford is not someone to take lightly. Hashtag Crawford Khan. A few more minutes in the round and Khan may have had to suffer from an embarrassing first round exit. Fortunately, he was saved by the bell. Lance Pugmire from the Los Angeles Times highlights in his tweets that Khan may have injured his hand during the earlier rounds of the match. He says Khan's acting like his right hand hurts. He absorbs some punishing blows of the body in the fourth and he trails 40 to 35 from what I see. Crawford did well throughout the match to keep Khan on his toes. Andrea Hale praised Crawford by tweeting, Counter right from Crawford, Khan is hurt, Crawford is destroying his body, all bad. Nasty Bud is coming out to play. While the audience was quite impressed with the initial match, they had a lot to say about the anticlimactic ending. Robert Littell, BSO, expressed his disbelief at the ending by saying, I'm not sure if I ever seen where a low blow caused a guy to quit, and then it resulted in a TKO. Crawford saying it wasn't a low blow, I'm going to assume he didn't watch the replay yet. It was definitely low, just a weird ending. Phil Logreco seemed a little doubtful about the hit. He said on Twitter, I've been hit to the groin before and it sucks, but I have to be honest, that wasn't on the groin, more like side hip. Amir reinvented his career many times and he's done very well. Others like Stephen A. Smith expressed their disappointment with Khan. Smith stated, trainer Virgil Hunter just told a national audience he asked at Amir Khan if he wanted to continue and Khan said no. It's official, I am done with at Amir Khan. I don't even want to see him fight anymore. He wanted Hunter to rescue him from an imminent knockout. I'm totally done. Andres Hale put out another tweet saying Khan was looking for an exit and the low blow gave him one. Rescued him from dying out there and now he can save face. This is lame. Scrolling to our Twitter timeline, we saw a variety of tweets stating their disappointment with the match. Ryan Clark tweeted, dude got punched in the hip and it's over? That was some good money wasted. Khan was tired of getting punched on. Jody Morris posted, hate to say it, but Khan has chucked that for me. Michael Benson said, bizarre finish, but a serious disparity in class regardless. Terrence Crawford simply on another level to Amir Khan. There's no denying the epic battle that took place between Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan in the initial rounds. Crawford, in particular, showed all his skill proving to the audience that he truly is a boxing champion. One can't help but wonder, especially after reading all the reactions on social media, if the low blow really hit Khan that hard to make him unable to continue forward with the match. Was Khan just trying to save himself from an inevitable defeat? Or did Crawford really lead a vicious punch. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And with that, we wrap up this video. See you in the next one.